What's up guys, my name is Daz. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I help you stop, heal, let go of this motor tick. A storm is brewing around me right now. I can feel like odd bits of uh, water in the air. The trees are swaying. I'm in the Thai jungle at the moment. And, uh, and it's just like the feeling of a a motor tick that is about to erupt in the inner body. Well, actually, the tick erupts in the body, but the feeling before the tick occurs is like this urging sensation, this force rising, this desire to move, this impulse to like take over your your body, and you feel like you can't control it. In the end, it's like, oh, I have to move my body. That's what people like us. <laughs> go through hundreds if not thousands of times every single day. At least I did for 20 years of my life. I've now 95, 97% healed myself using natural holistic methods and concepts of mind to reprogram myself and the inner world that created the tick in the first place. So what can we do when that storm is brewing inside of us, you know? What can we do in that space where we know a tick wants to occur? We know we can feel the urge, the sensation overriding you. And it's kind of building up, it's getting bigger and it's getting more intense. What can we do in that space? Before you actually do the movement what can you do in that space where the impulse is because it's in that space if we bring more presence to it we can actually uh we can actually help it just just surrender a bit we can discharge it you know there's an intensity in your inner world during this period In another video I've talked about why that is. It's like a, a message from somewhere inside of you reaching out, wanting to express itself in the world. But in our day-to-day -day life, as we're, as we're running around, you know, going to work and school and life and doing stuff, you know, watching television, isn't that an exciting thing to do? Um, as we're going through life, We sometimes don't allow ourselves to be present with the bit before the tick. But it's possible to become present with the bit before the actual tick. That feeling that you get, the urge you get, the trick is going deep into that space. What does going deep into that space really mean, Daz? It means being present with it feeling into it, relaxing into it. Now, the idea of relaxing into the thing which is making you tighten up sounds ridiculous. But weirdly, that's the thing that actually works because there you are reprogramming, you're, you're switching something and you can use your conscious mind to heal that part so that it happens less. So every time you feel the urge, it's like an intensity, it's like a negative charge. It's like a negative charge that needs to go boom, right? And so instead of allowing that charge to explode through the movement of your body, you can tune into the charge. Feel the charge coming, you can feel the charge coming. Take a breath. Ticks is associated with a imbalance in your autonomous nervous system. Taking a deep breath, usually breathing out longer than you're breathing in, brings your nervous system literally into the state of relaxation and repair. 
you can utilize the most simplest of tools that this human beingness has given you breath to to reconfigure the 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 inner state of your emotional world and the trick is in learning to use this breath in the right moments of the right times for people like us who have a motor tick it's during the period where you feel the impulse to tick The next time you feel the urge, I feel, uh, I feel like my shoulder wants to go. If you want, you can breathe in for three, hold for four, out for five. That's one technique. Or just breathe in for four, out for eight. They're two different techniques. Um, I usually use the four and eight one personally, um, but others say they really enjoy the three, four, five. Breathe in for four. Out for eight. If you learn, if you learn to start doing that at the moments before you go about ticking, when you catch yourself, you won't be able to remember to do this every single time. That would be quite difficult to do. But if you can catch yourself trying to do this breath, and whenever you feel overwhelmed by the amount of ticks that are happening at that kind of that kind of time space vortex, you know, if you find if you do this breath enough times, bit by bit, over many days and weeks, and remember to do this, you will notice a difference. Right, this this simple technique is proven to literally literally resets <laughs> your ANS, your nervous system. It's so simple, but nobody teaches this stuff. It's so simple. The ancients know this stuff, right? The ancients. Uh, the the master yogis. They know the power of breath. So the storm is really uh, creeping in here, so I'm going to take another deep breath. This time, do it with me, in for four. Out for eight. Hey, this is a magical tool, absolutely magical tool. And again, just trying to notice when you're about to tick, instead of doing the tick, take a breath, breathe into it, take a couple of moments to be still with yourself, and then just go back to your life. Keep doing this, regular basis. Bit by bit, bit by bit, those impulses discharge, and you tick less. I haven't found a magic pill that just works like that with healing this condition. And uh, I've tried a lot of stuff, and in another video I'll talk about all the things I've freaking tried. <laughs> But there are proven tools that can help you heal. This is one of them. And I'll tell you more in other videos too. I wish you the best. Have a wonderful day today. Drop some comments below. Say hi. Let me know how it goes for you. And uh, I'll upload another video soon. Have a wonderful day. Ciao.